the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. In this video, I will be discussing Laenor Valerion and his dragon Sea Smoke. The reason why I'm making this video is because I noticed something after House of the Dragon's third episode ended. Shortly after the new episode ended on Sunday night, I noticed there were a lot of fans unsure of what actually happened in the final scene during the battle against the Crabfeeder's men. During that battle, we see Laenor Valerion and his dragon Sea Smoke deliver airstrikes on the enemy soldiers down below. There were a lot of fans on Facebook asking who the dragon was, as well as who was the man riding on its back. I actually saw many fans asking if that was Daemon on someone else's dragon, or if that was someone else on Daemon's dragon, Caraxes. I even saw some fans asking if that was Bastion from the NeverEnding Story. Well, as I've already said, that was Laenor Valerion, the son of Lord Corlys Valerion and Rhaenys Targaryen. His Mount Sea Smoke is a silvery gray dragon who is obviously a fighting size during the Dance of the Dragons. Now, although Sea Smoke is a young dragon, he is considerably more nimble in the air than his older brothers. You have to remember, there will be 17 dragons in this show, and we will see 9 of them in the first season alone. You will be seeing a lot more dragons and their riders in the following episodes. If you want to know who all of the dragons are, as well as their riders, I would suggest watching my video I released right before the season started. In that video, I go over every living dragon, and I reveal who is riding on them during the Dance of the Dragons when the real battles actually begin. Now, another thing I noticed fans were wondering is how was Laenor Valerion able to fly on this dragon? Well, you have to remember, his mother is Rhaenys Targaryen, who is a dragon rider herself. If you remember in Game of Thrones, Jon Snow rode a dragon as well, although only his father was actually a Targaryen. Laenor is as much a Targaryen as Jon Snow was, the only real difference are their features. Jon Snow obviously favors his mother, which is why he had the dark hair, whereas Laenor's father and mother both have the white blonde hair, making him look like a super Targaryen. You will be seeing a lot more half Targaryens in this show riding on dragons. Now I want to show you how different the dragons actually look because I know there were some fans who thought this was Daemon's dragon, Caraxes. One thing some of you might not know is House of the Dragon showrunner said there would be three different dragon breeds in the show. And I think all three of these dragons I'm about to mention are from a different breed because of their distinct features. Now if you look at Daemon's dragon, Caraxes, you can see it has the shape of a snake or even a worm. In fact, Caraxes is also known as the Blood Worm, which is a very fitting name. Not only is he red like blood, but he's also shaped like a damn worm with his long ass body and neck. For me, he stands out from the other dragons the most. That's what I love about Caraxes so much, no other dragon looks like him so far. Now, if you look at Rhaenyra's dragon, Cyrax, it looks a lot more like a dinosaur to me. It does have somewhat of a long neck, but nowhere near as long as Caraxes. Rhaenyra's dragon, Cyrax, has the head and face that reminds me of a Velociraptor. Now, Laenor Valerion's dragon, Sea Smoke, looks a lot more like Danny's dragons if you ask me. His dragon has the face, head, and belly of a Drogon, Rhaegal, or Viserion. So as you can see, Daemon's dragon is shaped more like a snake or a worm, Rhaenyra's dragon is short and shaped a lot like a flying dinosaur, and Laenor's dragon, Sea Smoke, looks a lot like Danny's dragons from Game of Thrones. Hopefully this video did help some of you out. I just wanted to make a short video because I know there were some fans feeling lost after the new episode ended. Let me know what you think down below, or if there is any more information you want to add, leave that down below as well. As always, I want to thank all of you for stopping by and watching the video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.